Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we will be taking a look at how you can create your very own 5M resources in just a couple of minutes. This tool that we're going to be using will require Node.js so if you don't already have Node.js then please install it before continuing with this tutorial. The tool we're going to be using is 5M Resource CLI which is a tool made by me and it's a command line tool that basically allows anyone to create any 5M resource boilerplate in just just one line of text that's it this exists as a repository on github and also a package on npm.js so if you want to support it then please do that you can contribute and add your own templates and whatever and if you find any issues then please tell me so what we want to do to install this is Hold down window, the Windows button, press R, this will open up the run prompt, then type in cmd to open this command line, then run npm install dash g, which will install it globally, so you can use it in any folder and any project, then type 5m dash resource dash cli. This will take a couple of seconds, and then the installation is fully done. You may use it now as you wish. To use it simply you open your 5m resources folder because I would guess there that is the place where you want your 5m resources to go and then run 5m resource new. This will ask for a project folder name. If you do not input a folder name it will create all files in the local folder that you open the command line in which would be here which we do not want. So I'm going to choose a project name of YouTube test. I'm going to be choosing Cubicore as the framework because that is what my server uses. And then you can pick from any of the popular UI frameworks. Acre is also on here and default EAS. I know those aren't really frameworks, but it's there. If you're going to be using Vue 3.0 or React, I would recommend that you actually have prior experience in this and I will not be teaching you how to use them in this video. I will be picking Vue 3.0 though, since I have prior experience in that. You may now choose which language you want to be used in the UI. This is not needed if you did not pick Vue or any other UI framework. I will be choosing TypeScript because I think it's nicer. And then you can see YouTube test has been created. All the needed files and boilerplate files are created, a config, client file with all the play data management and functions file setup and it imports cubicore and etc. And in the HTML file we have the built UI files. If you are using jQuery or default JS, yes, the source file will not exist and the source will simply be in here instead. But since Vue and React requires building, this is where the build files will go, and this is where the UI source goes. And uh, as you should know, since you most likely used React or Vue before, you have to install all the node modules, which we'll do by opening a command line in the source folder and running npm install. After that, we can build it and run a dev server as we wish. So, just to show that it works, we can remove all the HTML files and when we build the view UI, you can see that it builds all the files here blazingly fast because it uses Vite. You can also open a dev server if you want to just to work on the UI. Open on localhost port 3000. Oh no, never mind. Port 5173. Sorry, my bad. Uh, yeah, you can see that it's running and working fine. So now if we go into 5M, we can do slash refresh to just reload all the new files and then do slash ensure YouTube test. This will load the new resource and you can see that it loads the UI. If you want to add new focus, then just add it in the client file. And yeah, just to show proof of concept slash show that it's working. I will just add something here, let's say a text saying Hello. Just remove everything else, I guess. 
there now let's build the ui and let's just ensure that again and you can see that it's updated it's as easy as that so please if you like the video and this resource then please like the video subscribe maybe give it a star on github and whatever if you have any suggestions on which 5m frameworks or ui frameworks to add then please comment it down below or add it on as an issue on github and if you have any interest in helping you with this project then please do just open a pull request on github and i will be sure to check it out this will be all for me today thank you for watching the video